Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, worshippers of all ages, welcome to YouTube. My name is Sea Raptor, and we're here to bring you a replay, a battle that I played this past weekend while doing a stream, a live stream, for the Operation Supply, got, uh, Operation Supply Drop, guys, over on Twitch. We were raising money for Torpedoes for Troops. Uh, a 36-hour marathon that we ran over the weekend. Uh, I participated, of course. Volgar the Viking, Kriegor had a block, uh, Lord Zath, uh, Mighty Jingles joined us for three hours. We had TC Freer. All kinds of feats. I'm, I'm not going to get everybody. I don't have the full list in front of me, but we had a lot of great folks show up to stream and try to raise money over the weekend. And we raised nearly $1,000 uh, to, uh, to to be able to donate games to troops. So that was, that was really awesome. But over the course of that stream, I played this game in Tier 9 American Premium Battleship USS Georgia. Now, this is a ship that I previously have featured on the channel in a scuttlebutt several weeks ago, and at the time, I was not particularly enamored of this ship. But they've made some changes, some fairly significant changes to Georgia. The biggest change is that her main battery reload speed has been improved from 30 seconds to 26 seconds. So, she retains the uh, three double turrets of uh, 457 millimeters with the American 18-inch super heavy shells, which is nice. Um, but the reload is improved. Now, it's not... That, that just kind of draws the parallels with Gneisenau a lot closer because Gneisenau, I believe, is on a 24 or 25 second reload for its 15 inchers in this same kind of gun configuration down at Tier 7. The other big change that they've made is that they've significantly improved her secondary suite. Her secondary suite is now roughly equivalent to that of USS Massachusetts, who most people who own one will agree is one of the more enjoyable and fun battleships to play in the game. Is she the best battleship in the game? Ah, probably not. But she is a hell of a lot of fun. She has a really solid main battery, and her secondary suite is trolly and entertaining. So... This ship was requested by the folks that I was streaming for at the time, and they also specifically requested a captain build. So what you're looking at is not full secondary build, USS Georgia. It's close. I have AFT on this ship, so I have max secondary range, which when you add all the bonuses and flags and everything comes out to 11.3 kilometers. But what I do not have is I do not have manual secondaries. Instead, I have opted for IFHE at the request of one of the viewers, and I already had it set up for my Massachusetts captain, so that's what we're trying out here. So, the game, we spawn very way, way over on the west here on Sea of Fortune, on the northern spawn, and I decided, well, I'm going to work the 2-3 line for a bit and see what happens. Of course, we've got a Fiji and an Izumo in front of us. You can see the Atlanta there popping up on the minimap. Uh, he's got really good island cover. I don't have shots on him. And there's a Lo Yang working the inside passage over there between A and B. Now, I'd like nothing better than to turn in here a bit and, and get my secondaries able to get guns on that Lo Yang once uh, the Belfast, who's literally sitting right there, is able to maybe radar him or something. But it seems very unlikely. I don't really have a great firm view of what else might be over here. I'm still detected, so that tells me there's probably a destroyer lurking around somewhere over here on the two line who I haven't seen yet. The Atlanta pops an info radar uh, just so they can keep track of me. I'm over here with a kid and a Cleveland. The kid astern of me is smoking up the Cleveland, which is really awesome teamwork and great to see. And then the kid is going to push even farther out over onto the one line to try and get some eyes on what's around this corner. I decide I don't want to push into the Atlanta. I know he has torpedoes. So I'm going to hang back here and just try and take what shots I can get. The Fiji should be very vulnerable to my guns. I really kind of blew that salvo right there. Uh, the first shot looked decent, and then when I, by the time I got the front barrels off, I think I had adjusted my aim badly, and I don't get as much out of that salvo as I should have. The Zumo is continuing to push. He's now in my secondary range, so the secondaries, now that I can see him, start opening up. I'm really trying to get the, the targeting system to pick up the Fiji in the back. The Fiji is what I want to be shooting at right now, especially at this angle. But I'm not... I just can't quite get the, the targeting system to pick it up. I'm also thinking that the Zumo is going to turn. I end up kind of waiting him out. And there, you, there he does start to make the turn to starboard. And so i like, all right, he's going to show me that angle. I'll give him, the, I'll give him some... I, so he gets the stern turrets. There's the two shells going over. And the Fiji gets the four forward guns. I get a full pen on the Izumo, which isn't too bad, and then I get some other, uh, uh, a couple, another pen or an over pen there on the Fiji. But the Atlanta has chosen to go the other way. He's now in this gap, little island gap over here, directly in front of the Cleveland. 
And this is not going to work out very well for him at all. He's chosen to stop. So now my Atlantas, the Atlantas that I have strapped to the side of my ship, are focusing him down as well as my main battery. I'm not going to get big Citadel hits here, but I am going to get at least a full pen as the secondaries and the Cleveland continue to pound him down, and he'll be off the board in moments. Bad tactical decision there on his part. So the team, for their, you know, for, for the five-minute mark of the game, the team is doing well. We're head on kills. We're up two caps. Our board position is not awful. Things look okay. The Belfast, if you look at the mini-map, kind of pushing a little overly aggressively into the center of the map. I think he's going to he's going to regret that decision. In the meantime, I am kind of more focused on what's going on over here. I know I still have this Izumo here as he heads into the cap. And the Atlanta is still just around the corner in front of me. Sorry, the Atlanta's dead. It's the Fiji that's still just around the corner in front of me. And hello... Surprise Sims. Now the kid picks this guy up. I immediately lock my secondaries onto him. And between the two of us, we know this guy is this guy is gonna be out. But that Fiji in the smoke is really gonna make mincemeat of this kid. This 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 engagement is just a giant train wreck because I cannot kill this Fiji fast enough because I just overpen the bejesus out of it. I can't get a citadel. Again, the Sims is absolutely going to die, but he's, the Fiji's going to live long enough to really, really ruin this kid's day. I know the Sims Torps are coming. I did pop the engine boost a little bit ago. Now, something else they added when when they added when they when they in the recent, most recent round of tweaks for this thing is is that she now has French engine boost. So she now has a 15% bonus to her speed for three minutes when you push that little that push that uh, consumable. And so that is really, really, really sexy. So I decide here I'm going to use it to get back into the center of the map. I don't want to be on the two line anymore because I'm the last person over here. The Fiji, the Sims, the Kid, and the Cleveland are all dead. It's just me and this Izumo. The Izumo's in the cap and I have no eyes on him. My plan is, to, my goal is to try to get up around this island in time to reset him and at least keep him from capping A. But what's going to happen is I, I'm going to get around this corner... And I'm um, just not going to be able to get shells on him quite in time. Now, they haven't messed with George's dispersion. She still has a slightly improved dispersion ellipse for her six guns. And these are still these are still really, really nasty AP shells. But dispersion still trolls you. And I find that she overpens a lot of things that it feels bad. Like, it feels like she shouldn't overpen things, but she does. She gets a lot of full pens, but I'd be getting a lot of full pens out of the 16-inch guns anyway. With eight minutes gone, we're on one kill and about 60,000 damage. The team, again, has a lead. We've given up A, but it's down to me to do something about this. It's literally me and this Izumo for A. One of us is not walking away from this. I slow down a bit, deciding initially that I don't want to push in too close and give him shots at my Citadel, because as an American battleship, I still have a pretty vulnerable Citadel. What's irritating to me right now is that he has no such qualms. He's showing me just a beautiful broadside shot. Here I am at five kilometers, and my dispersion is just, eh, and I'm getting pen. I'm, not, I'm just not getting citadels. I'm getting full pens. I'm getting damage. I'm just not getting the kind of damage that I really, really want to see. He pushes up. He eventually is going to break line of sight here as we trade a lot of secondary fire. I'm going to take a moment here while, while we cannot trade secondary fire to let my fires, my little deck fires there burn out. And, and so now I'm in a quandary, right? I'm sitting here thinking, in the game, I'm like, great, what do I do? Do I push this guy? Do I kick back here? And I finally realized, you know what? Let's just, let's just go for it, right? Like, this ship may not necessarily be a, a pure brawler because I don't have the torpedoes that I think would really, really make push her over the top and make her an excellent brawler. But my secondaries are good. I've got 18-inch guns. Screw it. Let's go for it. It's a test ship. What the hell? Let's, let's test it. So I come around the corner expecting to just wipe this guy out. But nope. Three full pens. And now the trouble that I'm, I discover I'm running into is that I'm so close, my secondaries are slamming into his casemate, and I'm not getting damage out of them at all. Now, these remember, these are IFHE 127mm shells. But he's got enough casemate armor to shrug that off. At long range, the plunging fire comes down, and I'm getting, I get good damage out of the superstructure out of these secondaries. But at this range, they're just slamming into his upper belt or his casemate, and I'm getting absolutely nothing. Now, by going past him, though, I've exploited one of Izumo's weaknesses in his forward turret configuration. He literally cannot shoot me. He's got one turret that can track me from this angle. And I'm trying to open the range so that my secondaries can get back into the fight. 
In the meantime, I'm also trying to get my turrets back on. He's showing, starting to show me a bit of an angle here. But I'm still... Uh, I'm, looking for, I'm looking for that shot. Not getting it. Again, another solid pen. I got a pen and a ricochet. Go figure that. He does get his, his Charlie turret around and bounce some shells off my belt. Finally, I decide to go for it, knowing his forward turrets are busy trying to get around. And I get the killing blow. My starboard secondaries have been pinging their way on this Iowa and B, but uh, not getting a whole lot of it. They're going to kick off here again in just a sec. There we go. So again, now we've just about crossed the halfway mark of the match. It's been a bloodbath so far. Both teams have killed eight ships, but we've done better with the caps. We have a small, about a 200-point lead here, as my main focus is just slowing down and capping A. I don't want this Iowa to turn his guns around. His guns are busy. He's not even looking at me. But I don't want to give him a reason to turn his guns around. I can't hide from him. Um, I'm just kind of hoping that he won't. And in the end, I don't think he doesn't. And I'm thinking, again, this is another great shot. I'm thinking, fantastic. And uh, uh, full pens. Now, again, that's a 14k salvo. So you think, okay, great. I mean, that's 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 nothing to, nothing to complain about. But, man, you just you just wish you were getting citadels against these battleships showing you such great angles. And you just just not seeming to get there. I'm not sure why. I do get a fire out of the secondaries. Secondary hits now up over 260. Remember, this is without manual secondaries. I do not have manual secondaries in this build. So, I pop the speed boost. My original plan is I'm thinking I'm going to swing way south. But then I look at the map, I look at the board, and I'm just like, you know what? To hell with it. Let's get into B. Let's get into close combat with these guys and really put this ship's armor and secondaries to the test. Which is kind of a ballsy... It's kind of a dumb move. Well, let's be honest here. I've, I've used up all my heals. I don't have superintendent in this build. So I only had three heals coming in and I've used them all. So the 37,000 hit points I have left is all I've got. But I'm just like, eh, screw it. Let's get in here and get this done. All that's left is these two Iowas. There's one on the edge of the B cap, one firmly planted into C. They're both trying to focus that Colorado who's running to the northeast. The Mogami way down on the nine line is being really clever and just staying away from them. He's continuing to lob shells at them, right? But he's he's just trying to not get shot at. Um, his torpedoes continue to come into the sea cap. He never actually lands any, but uh, they he continually uh, harasses them from that from that angle. So as I come into the B cap here, I open up again on this Iowa. Again, just trying to get again, knowing I'm not going to get much out of these shells because of the angle. But I get some full pens. It's not too shabby. I get into the B cap. I start flipping it. And, and again, in order to stop me, he's got to take his guns off the Colorado. And I don't, I don't see him doing that until the Colorado is dead. It's a bit of a target-rich environment. Both of these guys are right off my bow. I continue to stay focused on the near guy because he is lower. And my secondaries are also working him over as well. I also, my other, my other main goal here, I want to cap B and I want to keep them from capping C. Again, we have a lead. I want us to, I want to maintain the lead. Whatever it takes. Whatever I whatever I have to do. They do finally get the Colorado there. He was on 900 HP. It was kind of inedible. Now, this shot looks really good, right? 10 kilometers, virtually stationary. You're slightly reversing target. And, oh, Dispersion trolls you. Because Battleship, baby. This is... That's one of those instances where just having six barrels just feels bad. Raptor, why are you not firing? I'm waiting for... I'm waiting for all my guns to get reloaded. I kind of did some dumb things in this engagement. Uh, down here at the end, this is probably not how you'd want to brawl with this ship. I continue to charge these guys, and there was really no reason to do so. But I, I felt like, yeah, just screw it. We've got a lead. I'm just going to keep pushing. I want to push this ship. I want to see what she can do. I want to see how much punishment she can really take. I also wanted to see, I knew this guy here, this Iowa in the back, was going to have to turn in and give me a better shot, and I wanted to see... If I could Citadel the guy, finally. And I do eventually manage to bag one there. A nice fat 17k salvo. The other Iowa that I've been chasing for a bit is turning around. This guy's getting back into the fight. And now with both of them focused on Mo on me, it's going to free up the Mogami. He's going to figure it out in a minute that he can start firing because they're both occupied. He's not firing just yet. He has shots at this Iowa off my port bow, but he's not taking them right now. Now again, this is a situation, because I don't have manual secondaries, I'm able to get secondaries going off both sides of the ship. And I'm just lighting fires like crazy. But again, I'm down to my last, you know, my last few thousand hit points here, and I'm trying to trying to make it work. Now this guy goes for the ram, 
I managed to dodge it. But he doesn't pre-turn his turrets to take the broadside shot, which is a huge mistake on his part. So now I'm simply trying to angle. I don't want to take the citadels from the other Iowa down there. And I managed to at least stave that off for the moment. The other Iowa, though, does eventually put a huge salvo right through my stern and drop me down to about 1,000 HP. There it is right here. So this is going to be my last shot right here. Bam! I just barely pulled the trigger. I get two or three full pens out of it. And between the fires and the secondaries, I clock in about over 260k here on this battle. Now the Mogami is smart. He stays lit long enough to get a fire on the other Iowa and get him off the board. He cannot stop the other one from capping because he's going to lose eyes on him. But that's okay. The other guy does eventually sail out of the cap. He loops around and the Mogami does carry us to victory just by playing smart and not getting dead. So... So there you go, guys. That is that is USS Georgia. Uh, a full game there. 261,000 damage. 587 secondary hits. Now remember, guys, this is without manual secondaries. I think I fired... Let's go look at the screen. Yeah, it's over... Look at this. Over 1,600... 1,600 secondary rounds fired and almost 600 landed. So your accuracy rate probably around 30 to 30... 33 to 35 percent there. I don't have the exact number with a calculator, but it's somewhere in that range. Um, I was actually really surprised. I missed a wither. Check that out. I missed a wither by only about 2,000 fire damage. I was surprised. I, I, it felt like I was not getting a ton of work out of the main batteries. But you see there, I got 150,000 damage out of the main batteries, which was just more than I expected. And then I got uh, another 60,000 in fires and then a, a fair chunk of change just out of the secondary. So Georgia uh, feels so much better than she did in her first incarnation, right? Like this ship to me is just fun. Is she going to be massively competitive or I don't have any idea? Probably not. The six barrel thing is still going to be a bit wonky. One more thing I want to point out. I screwed this build up when I was building this on stream. For my, my last sixth slot, I did not take the artillery plotting room two module upgrade, excuse me, that would have reduced my dispersion by 11% because American battleships get that. I took the secondary ba secondary uh, battery mo uh, modification, I think three or whatever it is, that increases the reload speed of your secondary batteries. Absolutely don't do that on this ship. <laughs> that was my screw up, right? So I probably would have had some better salvos if I had used the other module. Well, there you go, guys. That's a look at Georgia. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we'll see you on the channel. Be safe out there and take care.